Okay, so we are going to add services to our online store through Square Up. So we're going to go to home. We're going to go to appointments. And here is now our appointments dashboard. Okay, so if you have things that you need to do on your checklist from the beginning, these will all be there. But since this is already an active account, these are already done. Now it's just saying invite customers and book online. If we want to add and manage our services, then we need to go to services. Okay, as you can see, here are all of the services that we have already in the system. If you need to edit one of them, you can simply click on it. It's going to bring up the service page and the descriptions that are in there. And you can edit anything in here. When you're done, you'll want to click save. There are other parts of this section here. I'm not going to go into detail on what each one of them are, but the majors are modifiers categories and custom attributes is one as well and then this has to do with your inventory if you have items that you need to add for example we are in a spa on this one but if you have items like lotions scrubs rocks <laughs> anything that can go in the item library which there's another video that has to do with how to add items but here we're in our service library so let's create a new service okay on the other screen here i have our services that we're going to be adding and i'm going to throw these up on my other screen but as you can see i'm just going to be copying and pasting from the other section So in here, we have two hour, nope, sorry, two area caviation and radio frequency therapy. So I'm just going to copy from my other screen and I'm going to paste it into this section here. Okay. The category is something that we create in the other section. As you can see, you can set it up as none. You can put it in what I already have here as add-ons. The body, body sculpting, facial. So you can choose any of the categories. If you want to create a new category, that's back in the main menu in the dashboard. For this section, it's going to be body. Our description. I am copying from my other document. Control C, slide over here, and Control V. All right. So there you can see is our description. The location, we only have one location, but you can set it up for whichever one if you have multiple. In this scenario, you can make it if you're going to grow and you're adding stores in the future, you want to make sure that all the stores have the same offering. You can set that up now here. Based on your industry, there is taxing on certain items. There's taxing on certain services. So you'll have to consult your accountant on what exactly to do with your taxing, what your exact taxing situation should look like in your setups for those. These are services here, and based on what my client has told me, is that we don't have to add any of the taxes for those services. Price and duration, this section gives you some incredible tools to, to manage and use in the future, depending on how your pricing works, if it's dynamic, variable mean changed, or if it's fixed, right? So if it's an hourly, we can set that up, which this one is. It's for an hour and 15 minutes. And so it's an hour 
That's $150 for that hour 15 minutes. Cancellation fee. There's different policies that you can set up and you wanna make sure that you make those policies blatantly obvious in the sections. So that way there isn't a surprise because the last thing you want is a disgruntled customer. Um, and the best way to do that is to not communicate. The cancellation fees for this customer is 50%. So once you book, you have to pay the $75, regardless if you show up or not. There are add-ons. So you can see here we created a, a section that had the add-ons. Um, so if they would like to add them, then here's the section where they can choose it, right? These are all available as additions to this one. And now they are not. Okay. The duration of this appointment. By changing this section here, you're going to change how much it blocks off on your calendar. So the duration for this treatment is one hour and 15 minutes. As you can see here, the processing time, there's a little bit more information on these eyes, by the way. You'll see it'll pop up here or it won't. That's fine. Processing time is what allows, so let's say everybody's been to the doctor where you walk in and when you check in, they hand you the four to five sheets that you have to fill in. So you have paperwork that you have to do when you come in. So you're checking in during that time, you can have another appointment. So if you have somebody at the front desk who's checking people in, then you can allow for these to be booked and overlapped um, by a certain amount of time. And this is where you would set that up. So you see initial duration, processing duration, final duration. So this kind of breaks it into those sections there. Um, this will be your actual session. This will be your processing. So the, the beginning section and then, you know, finishing up duration. So there's that blocking extra time allows after the appointment you know, 10, 15 minutes for whatever you would like. Maybe it's you have one room and you'd like to make sure that gets set up and cleaned up after the appointment. And then you have to book an hour, 30 minutes, whatever time to help clean up that room. We'll turn these off for this customer. Okay, bookable by customers online. This is a section that allows this service to be presented and available online. And then the team members that you can assign it here, we have our owner, you'll have other members of your team as you add them, then you can select who can be assigned this service. If everybody is trained and able to provide the service, then all team members can be selected. Display price. This is where you can add your text to give a little bit more context to your pricing. Um, mostly seen this used by price. Price may vary, different locations. You see that on some of the major franchisees, but normally this is what they use it for is, you know, to find out pricing, get a quote or something like that for other industries. But for you in particular, you don't need to fill this out. There are resources that can go along with this. We don't have any resources already created here for this client, but this is um, can be a guide or a prep manual for an appointment. In this scenario with the spa and beauty treatments, there is a sheet that you have to fill out beforehand. That can be there. We use a Google sheet that we send so this is not necessary, but if they were to want to do it manually, they could have a resource required. When they purchase the service, they'll get the PDF there to download that resource. They can fill it out and bring it in. Here's where you add variations. Okay. 
variations are right like our basic package and then I actually add on the add-ons here because we were having issues in the square backend on the last one it looks like they've updated since the last time we were here but previously I had the basic package and then if I had the radio frequency and the add-on of butt cupping <laughs> she's a heck of a one to use an example for that's going to be an additional fifty dollars so that makes this whole price for this treatment two hundred dollars that duration since the add-ons and that butt cupping takes another 30 minutes we're now at one hour and 45 minutes of time And as you can see, you can add the processing time, block extra time if you have to, um, and then that resource can be added there as well. So you can, if you have multiple to add, you can do that. There's all of the options, just like for the regular. So as you can see right there, regular is available radio frequency and butt coupling cupping not coupling you can do add-on this is your modifier set that i spoke to earlier so you can this work this is extremely important in restaurants and custom attributes and that's how you create a service we'll hit save after we you can add a photo here or you can just add a color. Uh, I believe these photos, yeah, so that brings up mine. There is an assets, an asset center um, in the back end here. And you can add pictures of your service. We do all this for you. The other way that we can input all these services is through a spreadsheet, a CSV file actually, and we have those templates available for you. So I can send you the template, and they may actually end up being attached at the end of this, uh, in this section, but you'll have a CSV template, and I'll show you how to upload that in another section.